it is that the traditional politics that has played has substantially consolidated support with the older voters within the region. And now he is, more than anybody else, sprucing up a vehicle to attempt to attract the younger voters without necessarily seating the older ones. Well, what are you watching? I, I want to remind the Tario of something. If TNA is for change, who is keeping Uhuru's company? Uh, you I cannot say the TNA is for change. Um, <laughs> just a minute. Because we are talking of change, I remember that the youth of this country have been misused for so long. That's why after 2007, we came up with the Kazi Kwa Vijana. Actually, that was a tool because the government realized that we have a problem with the youth, with unemployment and all this. Now, we are getting to another election, and now we are being told again that the sons of Kenya, the very, the, the very young uh, people that we have, are again now going to be involved in a party that they never formed. You know, it is not their party. They are only being brought in. We are talking of uh, probably you come, uh, you come my nerves. We are talking of parties being created. But my fear is if you find URP in the, in the rift, you find TNA in central, you find U, uh, U, UDF in, uh, in western, a coalescing around individuals is only that other people will take advantage. They will come up with the Huru so that we have a wave in south, uh, central, uh, the central province. We have a wave in Rift Valley. We have a wave in western. And we shall have in parliament, in the Senate, and in the government, the very, very same people who have been, who are in this parliament, in the same parties. So what is the difference between these parties with what we had in Kanu and uh, PNU and the rest? Okay, first of all, uh, you can't invent an argument for me. I have not anywhere claimed that TNA is a party for change. Uh, that when you ask its adherence. I haven't spoken about the significance in terms of change content. I've said it's a significant vehicle for consolidating. There's no doubt about votes. that. We're talking about whether it will, it will bring change. I, or whether it will I, clearly, I think that's what we're talking okay, about. Okay, the number of yes. things that we need to talk about. Yes. Kenyans have been banting around with words like reform and change uh, uh, and things uh, rather loosely. This country's infrastructure for change is in place. A very radical, sometimes extremely expensively constituted constitutional order. Uh, this country's broad economics blueprint is in place, the Vision 2030. We'll have to hold that thought because we have to take a, a break. We'll come back to the discussion about uh, what the country needs and the launch of the National Alliance uh, Party. This is Cheche, live on Citizen TV and Hot 96 FM. Your opinions count too. So if you've got questions for our analysts and our guest, Dr. Muhisa Kitui, uh, SMS them to 2442. And if you'd prefer to tweet, the handle is Cheche underscore uh, TV. When we come back, should the MRC be unbanned? Welcome back to Cheche, live on Citizen TV and Hot 96 FM. I'm Udwa Kamimo, along with panelists Mutegi Njao and Waweru Mburu. Our guest this morning helped redeem Kenya's international image uh, during WTO negotiations when he was Minister of Trade and Industry. He's Dr. Muhisa Kitui. And before the break, um, sir, you were making the point about what Kenya um, has been doing. And you made the point about... Um, uh, several blueprints in place for reform, for change, and um, for the economics. Um, elucidate on that further. Yeah, uh, two fundamental uh, points I'm trying to make. The first one is that when Kenyans were offered a clear divide between pro-change and anti-change, at a time when we had most of the work to be done, 1992, people voted ethnic paramount chiefs. They didn't vote on the basis of what people stood for. The subsequent triumph of opposition over Kanu was a mixed bag that brought people of all types on board. It didn't have a clear message. It didn't have the capacity to pursue one direction of thought. Change has fundamentally occurred in Kenya because of non-parliamentary players, civil society, the professional groups, and citizens and media who have kept sustained the pressure for certain forms of change. I see that going forward. Number two and fundamental, I was arguing that we should not start talking about whether these ones are going to bring change or not. Every political vehicle has some persons who stand for reform, some persons who can push for implementation of promised, committed structural transformation of a country, and persons who are looking to the future as a reflection of past privilege and abuse. The challenge is, can we look for strengthening within the political class a commitment to 
or are restrained against abusing the momentum for deepening changes were already committed to. But I don't think that that comes through a specific vehicle that this one, God, was so unfair that he granted this region a monopoly over reform credentials and denied other regions. Or that this party is the party of reform and others are the party of Of course, of the context the for this um, is that uh, we're discussing the launch of the National Alliance of uh, Uhuru Kenyatta on Sunday. And lots of our viewers have been um, uh, sending their comments in. And the feeling is um, that the panel... Weweru and Mutegi are being unfair to Mr. Kenyatta. Um, this one says um, TNA was launched on Sunday. Its manifesto is yet to be unveiled. Why do the two panelists want to preempt it? They're also casting aspersions on UK based on his family background. They're unfair to say the least. Um, it's disappointing that uh, you know Mutegi is becoming personal on matters of Uhuru. Um, even the ICC excites him. That came from Aulo in Nairobi. Um, and uh, why is Mburu bitter on Uhuru? We know he supports ODM. I, I think Kenyans must come out of this thing that uh, if you say anything uh, and, uh, against uh, Moisa Kitsui, they imagine that you are ODM or you are this and that. After all, I never talked about Uhuru. I talked about the sins of their fathers. I'm talking about Raila Odinga. I'm talking about Modavadi. I'm talking about Eugene Wamalo. I'm talking about Uhuru Kenyatta. Actually, and there are several text messages questioning that. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the issue here is uh, they must distinguish themselves. What is the difference between them and the ones that I've mentioned? And I'm not talking about their fathers, uh, literally, the, the father to Uhuru and uh, Raya Odinga. We, we are suffering because of the sins of our fathers. Now, what difference are we going to make this generation of leadership that now they are bringing on the table to tell Kenyans, 50 years after independence, we are going to make a difference? What Dr. Ari has talked about, uh, we are talking about, we cannot say, for example, in TNA or URP or UDF for that matter, that we are going to have clean people. That we don't have a factory. We are going to manufacture clean people. But we are saying, and I agree with him, that we are going to have a mixture of people who are uh, anti-reformists and reformists. But for heaven's sake, you have seen what the, the, the government we have today, the coalition government we have today. Every day they are quarreling that you cannot do this, I'm, you, I've done this. The reason is because of that mixture. Again, the person who is going to uh, get the mantle of leadership, be it Uhuru, Mudavadi, or Raila, or whoever, the sort of people they are going to bring in. I've always said, and I want to repeat it here, that you cannot have a wedding and then you invite guys from Koinange to be your bride. To, to, to be your bride. Uh, you say, you, you, you're, asking, you, you're actually saying that you can't have a wedding and invite prostitutes. No, to, to be you cannot. Right. For heaven's sake, you are known by the company that you keep. Okay, excellent. So, Mutegi, let's give you the opportunity to respond to these allegations that uh, you are anti Uhuru Kenyatta. Why should I be anti Uhuru Kenyatta? My, I'm anti people who are pretending. My, uh, my argument is that the whole uh, Ratmatas, whatever you're calling it, it was just a, a, a show. It does not appeal to ordinary youth, young people who are absolutely very unemployed. <laughs> uh, the problem I have with that uh, show was that um, the people who are supposed to be, the, say for instance, the chairman, if you told the chairman, first of all, that there was none of investment in that, in that thing, they, they are supposed to be the leaders of that party. They put no effort, no, no money, nothing, except being told, come and speak which they spoke. I'm asking, if they were told, now let's have elections of the P, what do you call it? TNA. And TNA. Will they get elected? Do they have the system of getting elected? Will they attract the youth and be, are they, first of all, I think there is an organization of youth, youth, you know, young people, a youth congress. Are they the National Youth Congress? Who do they, who do they accept being employee, are they there in the National Youth Congress? Are they, do they have any followers as youth in this country? Can I talk to that? Um, very quickly, yes. because we've got to move on to the MRC. I, I, I want to say this. Uh, I agree with the comment that was said uh, that uh, Buru's views are known very well to be very soft on uh, ODM, and uh, notwithstanding what he says. Uh, but uh, he didn't say too much of it here. I, I also agree with that on his, on his part. There is a cynicism that is very common in Kenyan media, and the two of you are bringing it out, that you want to find something to complain about. A person saying we're launching a party, say, forget about the launch, where was their manifesto? You know, uh, that they're announcing the birth of a baby and you're asking, uh, the baby is very slow. 
Okay. Uh, that's, that's why. Okay. But you know, that's, but then that's this, rich coming no, from no, you. No, but, but that this, is rich coming from you. Yeah, How many parties do you belong to? Let us finish the Buteki's uh, statement about uh, youth. First of all, to speak for youth does not mean that you must come from a specific youth organization in this country. There's no organization which has a monopoly of youth leadership. Number two, I know the young man who is the, German, the chairman of TNA, uh, Johnson Sakaja, mm -hmm. a very brilliant and gifted Kenyan. I worked with him when we were working on the constitution on devolution and the creation of a formula for uh, allocating boundaries. Uh, you, 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 you celebrate the talent of the young person. Uh, to rubbish him that maybe has just been picked and asked and sit there and you are the chairman is actually to do a, dis a, a, a disservice to this particular individual. I don't know about others. Yeah. But having said that, I think there are broader questions we have to deal with. Uh, yes, Kenya's political weakness is the absence of institutionalized political parties. And in a society with the fluid development of political parties, politics coalesces around individuals. Until and unless we consolidate and stabilize political institutions where players come in and go out and the relevance is how much they are in, we will continue having parties identified with individuals. If Raila moves from ODM to another party today, Luo Nyanza will be in that other party. Yeah. If Uhuru moves from TNA and goes to uh, Cheche party, uh, much of central Kenya will be in the church. Eh? And th this, uh, this is a reality of a weakness institutionally, but, but does we that cannot wish it away. Your, your, your party hopping? Because you've been in several parties. Which party Ford hopping? Kenya, new Ford Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, have you not been in, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you've been in ODM if I'm not mistaken? No, I've never. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I cannot approach the record of Probably eight parties by Raila Odinga. <laughs> Which party now? So, uh, yes, exactly. All right, I, I, I am finishing off non-political work uh, in a program we are running for United Nations Development Program.